Hey, this is Josh Cooper, co-founder and CEO of CN Seamless. And today we're gonna to be showing you how to set up your Mach 1 base machine with the OxyFuel cutting attachment. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your machine out of the case. Undo the four latches. And then you've got your Mach 1 machine. You can just pull out of the case and set down on your material. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and connect your Mach 1 base machine to a 120 volt outlet, just based out of the cord coming out of the back of the machine. What that's gonna do is enable you to turn on the electromagnet on the bottom of your base machine. So by pressing this button here, my magnet is on. By pressing it again, you can pick it up and place it wherever you'd like it. And then we're gonna take out our OxyFuel cutting attachment and install it on the base machine. So the OxyFuel attachment has two parts to connect it to the Mach 1. You've got your module that we're just gonna slide on to the back of the machine here and flip that cam lock down. And then you've got your arm, which is gonna to connect to the other side of the machine, essentially with just a little tapered thumb screw that you twist on to lock your arm into place. Once you have that, you're gonna go ahead and use the included hose straps here to make sure that you can control where your hoses are going and have good cable management. And at this point, you can go ahead and connect your oxygen and fuel bottles to your machine. So if you have quick connects, this is gonna make this a little bit easier, but essentially you're gonna connect your oxygen to the right side of your OxyFuel manifold and your fuel source to the left side. Now that you've got your bottles connected to your Mach 1 machine, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and turn on your oxygen and acetylene, propane, or natural gas tanks so you can go ahead and pressurize the system and get ready to cut. So we'll go ahead and turn on the oxygen and set it to the recommended cutting pressure which is about 40 to 60 psi depending on what material you're cutting. And today we're using propane so we're just going to go ahead and turn on our propane source here and it depends on how thick you're cutting but anywhere from 5 to 15 psi is about right. So before you get cutting you're going to want to make sure that you have the correct tip installed on your torch. So depending on what kind of fuel you're using you're going to either have a single piece tip or two-piece tip. The difference is the single piece is great for acetylene, that's a recommended use, and the dual use tip, which comes apart here, is for alternative fuels like propane and natural gas. The thickness or the gauge of your tip, which essentially is just changing the inner hole diameter of that tip, is gonna be the ideal use for whatever material you're trying to cut. And our material section in our software will tell you what tip to install. Essentially, all you're gonna wanna do is use a set of pliers to take off this nut here. You're gonna wanna swap out the torch tip, if you're using propane, you're gonna use that style, and then you go ahead and put that nut back on so you're ready to cut with the correct tip that makes it as optimal as possible to get a clean cut. So finally, you're gonna to wanna to connect your tablet to the machine so you can control it remotely using our software. It's gonna let you do things like design, set material parameters, and then actually run your cut. Just connect to our local Wi-Fi network that's hosted by the machine itself. Once I have that connected, I can just go out to the page, refresh it, and then your user interface is gonna show up here and it'll be in the e-stop mode when it first starts up. We're gonna just go ahead and click reset. Now our machine is ready to move freely and we can go ahead and start designing and getting ready to cut. So today we're gonna to be cutting a couple of sample cuts on an inch and a quarter thick steel plate. And we've got a, a number one installed on the torch right now, tip for the propane. We're gonna go ahead and swap that out for a number two tip, which is what our material parameters recommend in our software. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo this nut, which is already a little bit loose. And then I'm gonna swap out that tip for my number two tip and I'm gonna pop that back on. I'm just gonna tighten it down a little bit more with the wrench just to make sure that we're good. And now we're ready to go ahead and get cutting. 